just because you have shorter locks does not mean that you cannot get all of the cute styles. The sun shines on all of my glory. My flaws don't look so bad at all. What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome or welcome back to Locks Lux Lifestyle. So today I am going to be doing a lock holiday hairstyle. So as you guys know, it is the holidays. I am going to be doing like a little semi holiday photo shoot. So I've been wearing like this lock bob hairstyle for like the past week. I have a separate tutorial if you are interested in getting this two strand twist lock bob, which I will link here as well as down in the description box. However, for my photos, I did want something that was more of a updo. So I'm scrolling on Instagram like any other day and I came across this page of this girl and she has really beautiful locks and one of her styles I seen, it was an updo and I'm like, I wanna recreate that. So I'm gonna put a picture here for you guys to see. So I'm going to be recreating this style here. It's basically like flat twist on the side with a swoop two strand twist bang and it's up in a bun since i already had like this two strand twist style i figured it would be easier to just remix this instead of starting completely fresh so that is what i am going to be doing today so let's get into this tutorial so this style is about a week old so i'm just going to first start taking some hair oil and oiling my scalp i am using the talia wahid african healing oil and I'm just going to apply this throughout my hair. So depending on the length of your locks, some other things you will need is Marley hair. So like I said, I have a tutorial on how to do like the extended two strand twist. Basically, you two strand twist your locks and then you feed in a Marley hair. So this is how I got some of these longer locks. Again, please go watch that video if you want more details on how to do that. The next thing you'll need is rubber bands. Um, you'll also need hair ties. Also have some bobby pins. Um, I prefer to use like the open bobby pins for my lock styles. So I did a video uh, maybe a month or two ago and I showed you guys some lock ponytails. So initially I was just gonna use a lock petal bun that I reviewed in that video. I went and ordered um, another lock petal bun. However, it is too red, you guys. So I won't be using this, but I do recommend for easy bun styles getting one of these lock petal buns. But since that color didn't match, I am just going to be using um, this faux lock ponytail that I made myself earlier this year when I, the first time I went red. And basically it's just, it's crochet faux locks and I wrapped them in like red Marley hair and attached it to a rubber band so those are the products that I'm going to be using to achieve this style as many of you guys know I just be making up stuff I don't be making up stuff but if I see something I'll be like I'm gonna try it so I apologize if things aren't as clear or thorough but we're gonna walk through this <laughs> together so I'm gonna take out these two twists right here this is what we have right here and I'm basically going to do a flat twist going up and my mirror is to the side so I apologize if things aren't all the way in in frame what I have so basically I'm taking two strands twisting them together grabbing the next one twisting it around that grabbing the next one twisting it around that and then I'm just gonna take a rubber band and rubber band the end so that it doesn't come a loose and then I'm going to repeat the same thing with these next two twists
So this last section right here, I'm honestly just going to twist these two kind of back together, but going more so up and then I'm going to connect it. So this one, I'm just going to connect with that twist next to it. All right. So here is the side um, flat twist and those will go up into the ponytail or the bun like so. Um, now for the back, the bottom row I did down here, they're actually, I braided them. So what I'm gonna do is, I think for the back, I'm just going to undo them and then just pull them up into the bun just to make sure that everything reaches because right now, with them folded over, they won't reach into the ponytail. So I'm just going to take these down in the back so I took the back bottom row out so now I'm going to section off the part I want for my swoop I'm just gonna this part I'm gonna use this part for my bang I'm just gonna put a scrunchie on that and then all this remainder here I'm going to pull it up into a bun So this is what we have so far. So now I'm just gonna take that out. So you can leave it like this if you want to, but I specifically want a swoop bang. So what I'm gonna do first actually before we do the bang is do my baby hairs just so I can get this side. Even though that side is not showing, I still like to make sure it's swoop down properly and again i'm using these style factor edge boosters i get so many questions all the time at my videos what edge control are you using so if you heard me say this before i'm sorry y'all i have to repeat it in all my videos because somebody always adds i'm using style factor edge booster on my edges So now we're going to move on to the bang. So I'm basically just going to take these longer twists right here and I'm going to swoop it over like you would do a bang. And some of them will not reach since I was working with a pre-style already. Um, but you can definitely make these pieces longer to fold up. But since mines are a little on the shorter side, I'm just going to place it how I want it and then I'm going to secure it with these bobby pins.
all right so we're almost there you guys so now I'm going to take my faux lock ponytail and I'm just going to attach it on this bun using the scrunchie Alright, and so now after I attach that, you just have to play with it until you get the desired bun that you want. I think this is actually good. I'm going to take another scrunchie to secure my bun. you guys and that is pretty much it i am going to just tie this down so that it stays fresh while i do my makeup i think came out really good i can't wait to you know put myself together to see the final look but as far as the hairstyle goes i think this is super cute i think this is a great hairstyle for the holidays um i tell you guys all the time you ladies with starter locks um short locks Get creative, get you a pack of Marley hair and you'll be surprised at what type of styles that you can pull together. Um, just because you have shorter locks does not mean that you cannot get all of the cute styles. Whenever I see a cute style on like Instagram or somebody with longer locks, in my mind I'm always thinking about how I can recreate it with my shorter locks because it can be done. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's so gloomy today, I'm not getting the best lighting. Um, but yes, this is the final look. I think it's super cute and elegant but yeah let me know what you all think about this hairstyle but thank you all for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on instagram snatch by charmel and i will see you beautiful people in my next video